out with Ryu Kid Fishing Charters. This is Devin, our deckhand. We just got done catching a bunch of yellowfin tuna, skipjacks, and chasing marlin. We're actually still chasing marlin right now. We we're dropping some vertical jigs, stuff like this that you're used to saying, and also some pretty wacky stuff. Some little squids like this, some darters, and using these wacky things called banana weights. So it was a super awesome day. I hope you guys are excited for the footage. Devin, it was a pleasure fishing with you, man. Hopefully, uh, catch Hopefully some... we hook up on the way back. Yeah, let's catch a marlin. I'll see you guys in the video. different spread of some dudes jigging, some dudes drifting. So we got a bunch of chummies out as well. So just mates are throwing glass minnows off that side of the boat and we're drifting that way. So all these chummies and everything going out in that direction in the same directions as our baits in the same directions as our jigs. So jiggers will be able to get down a little bit faster. And if there is a school of tuna down there, we'll be able to rise them up. We'll see what we can get. Sometimes the jig works really well. Sometimes the bait works really well and that drift type of presentation so early in the day we'll see what's working and we'll adjust off of there been pretty pretty slow just finally got the first bite of the day it's a nice little tuna oh man he's pissed right in his mouth those sharp little teeth that he can use to hold on such a cool little fish starting to they're starting to blow up around the boat so should be getting into more of them hopefully get them chummed up keep them close to the boat I'm gonna keep this guy for sushi we'll probably start releasing them if we get into them really good but this one's coming over dinner all right so I'm gonna try this tiny little squid imitation looks super super cool don't know if it's gonna have the same action this is what i have and throw on this little darter i want to just try this little squid see what we can get on the freaking squid lure man the squid lure is getting tight maybe i have tv drag on maybe i don't who knows but yeah squid little baby squid lure got it oh no he ripped off man oh. Lame. <laughs> Squid lure sucks. It didn't rip off. It's right there. Nah. Yeah, I guess it didn't. Looks like you let it go. Well, no. Yeah, I mean, the fish just let go. Sometimes they just uh, come unbuttoned, I guess. <laughs> One of them days. I gotta set the hook like a crackhead next time. Yep. Hi, uh, this guy's 0 for 2. He's dropped down twice. Hasn't hooked any fish, but he managed to lose his jigs and weights. Right, happens to the best. Only, <laughs> only came out to get a fish on that new rod, too. Yeah, well, you know, you can't win them all. Devin will hook one for you and hand it off if you want. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. <laughs> there we go. On the squid. Right. Fish. Love. The squid lure. Not a very big one, but we'll take it. Feels like a little skipjack, maybe. Come here, dude. Ooh, he's angry. <laughs> That's pretty. Check that out, guys. That beautiful purple and blue. You like that little squid imitation. All right, dude. See ya. Uh, you know, just a typical day out on the water. Yeah. The customers hooked up. <laughs> Bring a nice 
nice too. I might have a little tangle. A little dangle tangle. Shoof. Nice little yellow pen. Munch the little squid imitation. Got a million and one lines on them. Just guess. 25 kilos? 25. I think so. I think it might be 24 per side. At least. But, uh, I mean, I no. just, I just bled it out, so probably about 24. So we're constantly moving, constantly resetting because we're drifting over an area that holds giant schools of tuna, but you'll drift over it pretty quickly. So you, what you try and do is try and reset fairly constantly, fairly consistently in order to put us over those tuna over and over again. Because as soon as you get past that school, you're just over nothing. You're in a desert in the middle of the ocean. There's nothing around. So you gotta constantly be resetting. You'll hear the captain do this loud beep and it lets everyone know to reel up. Boom, we're gonna go reset and catch something else. Like even right now, I got an FG to 60 pound and then tied on there. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. That's what we want to see. Nice tuna. Yep. That's what we want to see. Drag scream in action. Yeah! Oh man. That magic sound. Break a man's heart. Tuna! Oh, side. Take, uh, we'll take about 30 more of those. Yeah. <laughs> 30. <laughs> no big deal. We'll close that door before he jumps out. Had a couple of them popping. I'm going to throw this uh, little Yozuri, little surface swim in plug. See if we can get any, eat that on top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were all blowing up out there and just casted a little Yozuri at them on the light rod. It's not a very big fish, it just got no, loose drag. It like a, like a ship, yeah. yeah, it is. It was, they are all blowing up as soon as we stopped. Phew! Just take a wrap on the leader. Almost had a hook in your hand, huh? You can toss them back. Toss them? Yeah, sure. unless you want them. Anything. I'm assuming these guys are Okay. Starting to get bites now. We got them shummed up There's a little fish. bit. I don't, There's I fish think, around. I think between the three boats being together and put a bait in the water, yeah. I watched them go from 200 to 100. You start rising now up. Now starting to see them around 60 or 70. Yeah, I got that last bite. Like all Literally, that, it was all that chicken really, really close. Was bringing them up. Yeah, you know, just had to get a quick bicep pump. Oh man, look at that thing. Is this what they call live action? Woo! Look at that. Hooked up over here too. Jigs are going. Woo! Oh man. Everyone was taking a nap a second ago. There we go. Right there. Very close. They're up in the chumps like now. I was about to drop back down. This guy was like, nope. I'm going to eat that thing right now. Here's all. pretty that thing is. Purples, blues. Really nice fish. I'm gonna let this guy go. Chewing now. Yeah. Nice 
inch rod bend. Something about catching fish on top that's just super cool when they're busting and throwing a lure out to them and having them react to it like immediately. But they're not really doing that today. So one one fish on the plug on top, pretty much everything else has been jigging. So I'm watching all these fish blow up out in front of me and I gotta resist the temptation to throw at them because I'm just not catching them on top. We gotta drop down. And that's how we're getting all our bites today. So gotta resist the urge. And it'd be really cool if I hooked one right now, right at the end of that monologue, but it's probably not how fishing works. Oh, you can cut scene it later. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> that was a good bite right out the front. Bigger bust. Oh my god! Freaking thumped it, Jay! Big old whale! Good one? No. So that weight that I got down there, I'm jigging that, and that's going like this. But behind the weight, the little darter is just moseying its way, it's just kind of fluttering. And that flash of the jig is really what attracts the tuna in. But then they come up and see that little bait and they're like, hmm, this is an easy meal. It's not moving super fast like that other thing. And they're just like, Phew! swoop in and eat it. Not small, not big. You're a good one, bro. Pre appreciate you. you we start getting to the end of the day. It's like it's like 1:30 right now. We'll probably fish for another 30 minutes or so. But if you don't drink water, like I haven't been all day, and you've been jigging all day, start cramping up. <laughs> Literally. So like that last fish, my arm was just like just tight, just frozen because didn't drink any water. So it's good. Solid physical activity, right? Oh yeah, always good for you. Don't want to do it with too much water. It's just yeah, no, it's all that water would just, just mess you up. I'm not gonna have to drop very far in this one. I'm literally seeing them like 10 feet under the boat. Right there. Yep. There it is. <laughs> just like that. Little chewers. You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw them back. I got it. Come here, dude. Come hang out real quick. Oh, man.
back at the dock, awesome day. Got a Wahoo on the way in. Also one of the other boats next to us caught a Wahoo literally at like the exact same spot. So they just must have been chilling right where the drop off was. They caught them literally like five minutes after we did. So it's pretty darn cool. One of my favorite fish to eat. Really awesome day out with Ryukin Fishing Charters. Be sure to check them out. I have their information linked in the description. Their social media is awesome, as well as their trips, their charters. If you're ever in Okinawa, Japan, absolutely check them out. You'll have a great time. Y'all, that is all the time I have. I appreciate you so much for watching, and I'll see you in that next video. Later.